The National Weather Service is breaking down the difference between a potential spy balloon and the weather balloon they use to track data. This allows meteorologists to see future weather patterns. To break it down for us is a meteorologist, Hannah Scholl. With talk of spy balloons flying about the past few weeks, the National Weather Service is making sure people know the difference between weather balloons and spy balloons. Weather balloons are a common occurrence in Oklahoma's skies. They're launched twice a day at 5 a.m. and 5 p.m. with additional launches if there's a big weather system coming. While they are similar in color to the Chinese spy balloon that was shot down near South Carolina, they're much smaller. A spy balloon is about 200 feet in diameter and a weather balloon starts off at three to four feet and can become as large as 35 feet in diameter. Weather balloons can't travel thousands of miles like a spy balloon because they'll pop once they get to about 100,000 feet. So they're only in the sky for about one to two hours. Although Norman is the only location with weather balloon launches in Oklahoma, you could see them anywhere in the state. The balloons are rising as they're going up, but they're also being steered by the winds. So during the winter and early spring, it's not uncommon to have a balloon travel 100 to 125 miles. The equipment hanging below a weather balloon is called a radio sonde, and it sends important information about the atmosphere back to meteorologists. The radio sonde will fall back to Earth with a small parachute after the weather balloon pops. So if you see either balloon or a small parachute in the sky, don't worry. It's just a very important part of gathering data. And if you find a dropped radio sound, the Weather Service doesn't take them back anymore, so you can keep it as a souvenir from Oklahoma's weather. In the studio, Hannah Scholl, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.